All right, it's time to carefully place the heads back on. We got a coolant hose or something like that sticking in the way. Get it out of the way. It's like a very heavy and expensive thing that you don't want to drop. wrestling but it's seated on there nicely okay so believe it or not I was able to reattach the clip that I removed from back here if you watch my uh what? Yeah. Here. you'll come over here say hi come over here say hi hi say how's it going are you working on the heads yeah. Are you gonna be mounting this thing in? Yeah. Nice. What's what is this? Head. That's right. What's another head? The other head we're gonna get and we're gonna put it on the other side. You ready for this? Sure. All right, let's do this. All right. So like I said, if you watch my other video, uh, there's a clamp back here that I ended up removing and taking off this. Uh, part of the wiring harness so right now I was able to reattach it not too complicated as long as you initially slide it underneath uh, you're good to go let's get the other head on this tube goes behind here and it attaches to the driver's side head so I'm just gonna slide it in there and leave it resting there for right now and there's also this ground wire that also has to attach to the driver's side head. Okay, let's put the second head in. There it is. All right, so I know I didn't show this process, but this one needed to slide into a bolt on the back here, on the back of the head, which after some wrestling, I finally slid it in there. Now, I have no idea how I'm gonna tighten this again. So I'm trying to wedge this basically back here currently. Let's see if we can do anything with it. And it doesn't look good. Like so let's try something different. Okay, I do think that I can squeeze it in through here. And by the way, this is a 13 millimeter. Just gonna sit right on it. Come on. There it is. Okay. I don't want to tighten it down. Crazy. I just want to tighten it down where it doesn't do that. This is just pure luck that this just popped right back in. Okay, so finally, after some time of wrestling with this, I ended up removing this pipe again, positioned a very small little wrench, 13 millimeter, onto the bolt, and then putting that thing on top, and then from basically here, screwing it down. Now, let's go ahead and do this. Remember where it is. Just want to feel for it. Uh, for the ground wire. And the ground wire. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I feel it. It's a 15 millimeter bolt, which attaches over here. And we're gonna have to tighten this one down. 
quite good, quite well. Possibly. Second fun fact, should have attached the bolt in the ground first and then did this bracket, even though it's sliding on pretty easily at this point. So here we go, I got it on there and tightening it, but I can see that this tube is already in my way. So like an idiot, I'm going to have to use a wrench now, could have used a, a socket. So. All right, let's tighten that one down. That one is, a, I believe, a 15 millimeter. All right, so the ground is on there pretty tight. I used uh, these type of wrenches, get it on there as far as I can, and then tighten it down with this type of wrench. So now I guess it's time to start bolting the heads back on. We got our new head bolts. These are the long ones right here. And we're gonna insert them gently and, and tighten them all the way down. So if you remember, the first one is a short one, then long, 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 short. All the bottom ones are long, and all the top ones are those little bolts. So currently I'm installing the middle three long bolts. Alright, so I got the top five, the middle three, and the long ones, and then the two outer short ones. So now I'm just installing the bottom ones. Alright, let's get the top five small ones in there as well. So again, just hand tighten them down and then we'll start torquing them down in the correct order. Next. And this last one is, I remember, a bit of a pain. Okay, so just hand tightening these bolts took about 30 minutes. I mean, it's it's a procedure and a half. So now I gotta torque everything down and uh, and then follow the procedures that I'm gonna outline when I get to that process. But I'm starting to run out of daylight. I may finish up the other side as well. Just put the bolts in there and call it a night and then torque everything down uh, tomorrow because uh, I am exhausted completely. This has been a hell of a day. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much going to have to finish this tonight regardless if I want to or not. Uh, those bolts had that lock type on them and uh, I think I'm going to have to just finish it off. But anyways, for what it looks like the process goes uh, one, two, and these are all going to be tightened down to 22 foot pounds, then three, four, five, then we're going to switch down here to six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once we get those down to 22 foot pounds, uh, we're going to have to rotate them an additional 90 degrees and then uh, I believe an additional 50 degrees uh, from that point. I'm again following the same lineup. Uh, when we get done with that, then up top we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, tighten them down to 22 foot pounds. Okay, so I went ahead and tightened every single one of the bolts in the order that I showed down to 22 foot pounds. I then went and put a horizontal line on each one of those bolts. 
And the reason being is the second pass, again, following the same procedure, starting off one, two, et cetera, uh, all the way up to 10, which I believe is that one, uh, we have to rotate now these 90 degrees. I honestly wish GM would have just said, you know, tighten them down, second pass to, you know, 50 pound feet, but no, now we're gonna do 90. And then on the third pass, we're gonna have to do an additional 50 degrees. So basically, this line where it's pointing to right there, it's gonna rotate first pass and it's gonna be pointing up, making it easier to see what we're doing. I went ahead and made those horizontal lines on every single one of the bolts. So now I'm gonna start rotating them uh, the first 90 degrees. Okay, so I rotated all of them again in the sequence uh, 90 degrees. So now all the lines are pointing up. Um, this is actually kind of difficult, especially with a bad shoulder like I have. So. Okay, so I was actually mistaken. Bolts 1 through 8, which are basically the long bolts, need to be turned another 90 degrees. Bolts 9 and 10 are the ones that need to be turned an additional 50 degrees. So it's going to be even more effort than what I just thought. <laughs> Guys, so pretty much to show you how I'm doing this, in order to get enough torque on this, I literally have to be standing on top of the engine with the extension and the torque wrench in hand. So I'm about to start working on the fifth one. Oh, well, the fifth one. Is this the fifth one? Uh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Okay. All right, so I got the fifth one in there. So now I got to turn it 90 degrees, and it's actually a pretty simple process. Get a little more. Once you have enough torque uh, in here, or once you have enough leverage. Let's double check. Couple more degrees. And I think it's good actually. Yep, so we're good now. Alright, so I got all the bolts down, the long bolts, anyways, bolts one through eight, down the additional 90 degrees, and bolts nine and ten, which are short bolts, uh, an additional 50 degrees. So now it's just time to torque down the top bolts, uh, the 22 foot-pounds that's recommended. Our side head fully torqued down. Time to move down to the passenger side head. I don't know if I got any more energy in me, but I guess we'll see shortly. Okay, so to remove a couple of the head bolts, I also loosened this one back here, just that one right there, and I might have loosened that one, I'll, I'll tighten it down just in case. But yeah, got the passenger side head, the bolts, uh, first round down, now it's time to actually torque them down to 22 foot pounds. Okay, second pass is complete. Got all of them, well, 10 of these at 90 degrees. Now it's time for the third pass, getting the eight, an additional 90 degrees, and uh, two small ones, the end, the nine and tens, an additional 50 degrees. And then, of course, start working on the top, torquing those down easily to 22. <laughs> Thank you.